asking the Lord um, what to do with this dream for the longest time. And this was back in, let's say, it was back in 2020. Uh, January of 2020 is when I had this dream. I have it written down in my journal. And um, it started off, I was in heaven. And there's this huge angel in the um, doorway of this theater. And in heaven, you can go and look at different movies. But it, it, the only difference, the big difference is, it's called Dreams of the Future. And each one you can watch prophetic things that will happen on the earth. So I went in, I got my ticket that was about the size of they just look enormous size of me. <laughs> just like, I'm 5'2". And it was huge. So I go in. I get my ticket. And I see Jesus. I see um, one of my best friends that passed away in a car accident. Um, she's one of my very best friend. Very close friend. And um, I saw her. She kissed, come here, come here. So I sat next to her. And everyone that I ever loved was in that theater. And it, it was like a theater, but it was just, oh, so much better than we could ever imagine because it's in heaven. And uh, I look at Jesus and he waves at me and he starts the, the movie. So at the beginning of this movie, mind you, I'm going <laughs> to play back a little bit here. In the theater, there are people with Trump hats, Trump banners, and like American flags waving it and then just saying, Trump, 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 Trump. But anyway, go back to the movie. So we get to this movie, and it starts off with riots, uh, Antifa rioting, and just a whole bunch of things that just, it was a mess, and everything was on fire. And, um... Then it fizzled out like an old TV, like you would in, you know, like, those old TVs. And, um, it switched to what I didn't understand. This is a Supreme Court. And I saw a lot of people going to jail. I don't know who those people are. I have an idea, but I'm not going to tell. So, and, and then it went to... What I didn't understand at the time was Biden's inauguration. Because it started off an inauguration is just dark, cold, excuse me. And um, it was just so damp. I don't know how the word, but just rainy and cold. But after the inauguration, after Biden swore on the Bible, it switched. It immediately switched to... I told Trump saying, I told you I won. And then I look back at Jesus and he's waving his hands at me and said, Trump won the election. And then it went to another segment and it sort of um, fizzled out to back to the rioting. And then it went back to Trump and he said, I told you I won again. <laughs> he kept saying that because we have... I think God showed me this dream to tell you that things happen. Things are happening right now that I cannot believe. I am go now going to a church that I had a dream about a few months ago. And, and I'm in Texas going to that church. It's just, God is so, so good. I, I feel so sad for the majority of us Christians thinking that God can't do these things anymore. Like, look at your Bible. Read Moses and read read the book of Exodus and how Moses followed God. And, like, do we truly believe that that staff was turned into a snake? Because right now, we, we go immediately to worry and to, God can't do that now. But it says in the Bible that God is for the same today as he was yesterday and forever. Um, um, it's just 
so awesome.